Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Marissa. If you are new here, your favorite problematic housewife. Today I got some mommy gossip, some mommy vlogger tea we're going to be going over. Aaron Williams calls out Tara Henderson in a kind of loud but subtle way. <laughs> we're going to talk about it. Um, I want to thank you guys so much. I am almost at 4,000 subscribers and that is absolutely insane I try not to like pay attention too much to like subscribers and view like none of that matters but I do appreciate you guys support so much and it's just wild to me like that my channel is growing the way it is and I am happy about it because my channel does mean a lot to me so today we're talking about the fallout between Aaron Williams and Tara Henderson now if you don't know Aaron Williams is a mommy vlogger and so is Tara Henderson. They have been very public about their friendship for years, like real life friends. Um, it's not just a like online friendship, which are still valid, but they did meet each other in person. They would visit each other. They were real best friends. And it's really sad that their friendship ended the way it did. And, you know, I think they've been trying to keep it private, but when your relationship has been so public, I think it's hard and eventually it is going to come out, unfortunately. And <laughs> I know nobody wants to choose sides, but as I've been watching and following this story, I do tend to side with Aaron Williams and I'm going to tell you guys why, but YouTuber headlines has been doing a ton of coverage on this story. Now, I don't agree with everything she says and does, but I do follow a lot of her videos because I do keep up with the mommy vloggers and I totally follow mommy vlogger gossip. Now, what I'm not okay with is like bashing the moms, trying to ruin their career, things like that. Like we all love a little bit of drama and gossip, but some of the anti-mommy vloggers <laughs> take it too far. Now, I do really wish that YouTuber headlines would speak on Dad Challenge podcast and maybe she will. Like I'm still I'm still holding out hope that she's going to speak on him. I know she only covers mom content, but it would be really easy for her to get on her channel and talk about his extremely problematic behavior. But somehow I get the feeling that she's never going to do that. Anyway, she did a video today that I was watching, or maybe it was yesterday, but she did a video talking about Instagram, and now in Texas, apparently, like, certain filters are banned because of the metadata, and some filters that use facial recognition are, like, keeping your data and sending it out elsewhere, which I had no idea about. So some of the moms have been talking about it on Instagram. So I'm going to show you a clip really quick of what YouTuber Headline said in her video, which I will have linked down below and I'll have all the videos about this friendship drama linked down below also. So Tara Henderson and Aaron Williams are no longer friends. I've made multiple videos covering this topic. I will link my playlist down below if you need to catch up. Best filter that I can even find um, available right now. Every time I go to the filters I normally use, it says that they're not available for my location. So this is what we're going to work with right now in this moment in time. It's hideous. Then Aaron posted this on Instagram. Texas has banned filters that change your face. And anyway, goodbye now. I have to look at my actual face. Tara Henderson said, I still have my filters, but I love that Texas is taking them away, hoping the rest of the states follow suit. Then Aaron posted this screenshot on Instagram. It talks about the Texas Attorney General filing a lawsuit against Meta. Aaron added this to the screenshot. This ban has nothing to do with anything other than metadata, but I'm simply cackling at people who say the rest of the world should follow suit. Then Aaron posted the definition for virtue signaling. She said, don't do this when people know who you really are. And there's more, there's one more. She said, sorry, it's just the fake for me. With me, what you see is what you get. I'm tired of the facade. A viewer sent me this message on Instagram. Did you just see Aaron shade at Tara, OMG? Then she said, it's not even shade. She's straight calling her out. I actually agree with this. I don't think this is shade at all. I think this is Aaron straight calling Tara out. When you throw shade at someone, it's a subtle expression of contempt or disgust for someone. So in my opinion, 
without a doubt, Aaron Williams was throwing some shade at Tara. And Aaron seems to think that Tara Henderson is being fake, which I tend to agree with because I've had issues myself with Tara Henderson and her dishonesty. I did a video about her months and months ago because when she first started her boutique, and getting really busy with all her businesses. She was being extremely shady and dishonest about having a nanny. She would purposely put clips together to make it look like she was doing all of this stuff when her nanny was picking the girls up at ballet. Her nanny was caring for all of her other kids while she was running around town with the newborn. And something I always appreciated about Erin Williams was that she wasn't afraid to be herself. She's a lot more down to earth, even though she is problematic in some ways. Who isn't really? But she'll say she has nannies and assistants and she's like honest about all of that stuff. Tara for the longest time, tried to make it look like she was doing everything. And she started making like other moms feel bad in her comments. And that's what made me do the video about her because it's like, why are you making all your viewers feel like they can't measure up to what you're doing on social media, which is, you know, a, a, a negative kind of critique I do have of mommy vloggers. It can all come off very fake, like they're just, they have it all together, they're organized, they look cute all the time, and that's just not real life for many of us. I look a wreck, my house is messy a lot, I have four kids, like that's just not reality for a lot of people, but you do have to just know in your head that a lot of these mommy vloggers, this is their job, it's their brand, it, they're like the modern day Martha Stewart, you know what I mean? So you can't really put too much stock in what they're doing and feel like you need to be doing that too. That's their brand. They're making money. And I'm all about moms making money online. So <laughs> that's why I don't like when they get hated on. But I do, you know, feel like a lot of them are just becoming more and more fake. Like, I don't even watch Tara Henderson at all anymore. I do watch Erin Williams because I find her funny. I find her entertaining. I feel like she's so much more down to earth than a lot of the other moms. And she's not, you know, obsessed and worried about what her image is online. Like, she doesn't care. She's a lot more real and raw and she's been canceled over and over again. And it seems like she came back and at this point she just doesn't give a shit. Um, and... I appreciate that about her. Oh, I also wanted to mention my girl Pixie also did a video about this. She is a really good content creator also. I will leave her channel down below before I forget. So what happened was these two were friends. There was just this whole drama where one of their mutual friends, Happy Healthy Hogan, was in DMs kind of talking shit about a girl named Amanda Waters, which... I have my opinions on her. I think she's fake. I think she's like a clout chasing bitch. She just seems like she's just trying to get famous and be like the next Aaron Williams or Tara Henderson. And it's just not cute at all. And it's very obvious. Anyways, Tara Henderson and Aaron were mutual friends with this girl, Amanda. Happy Healthy Hogan was like, dragging Amanda in DMs, kind of gossiping and talking crap about her. And she also had not mean things to say about Tara, but she didn't really say anything positive about Tara. So some people suspect that this is why their friendship ended. We still don't really know because it wasn't really made public, like the actual reason of what happened. But some people also think that Aaron starting a boutique, just like Tara, is what broke up their friendship. I mean, if you're best friends, you're happy about your friends' businesses. I don't see them, like, being jealous of each other unless, you know, they, that is a thing. But I would think they would be supportive of each other. They went to go look at items for their boutique together and things like that. So I'm not sure it's that either. But they did unfollow each other on Instagram. And, of course, the people who follow Mommy Vloggers 
noticed that. They started talking about it. People started noticing that Aaron and Tara weren't talking about each other. They started noticing that they weren't being seen together. Their life was becoming extremely separate. Now, a lot of people have issue because Tara Henderson remained friends with a lot of Aaron Williams' friends, Amanda being one of them. And it seemed like when they stopped being friends, Tara was just bragging all over Instagram that she's friends with Aaron Williams' friends, which is super shady. And that's the kind of stuff that I don't like about Tara Henderson. She'll do all this vague shade, but she constantly acts like she's the innocent, quiet one. She cares about her reputation and her image, yet she's like throwing shade and throwing it in her supposed ex-best friend. Like, even if they had a fault, they were friends for years in real life, and you're going to throw that in her face on social media? Like, you know what you're doing. So nobody knew what happened, and then this girl Amanda got a comment from somebody. In the comment, you know, the person was pretty much saying they were upset that Amanda and Aaron aren't friends anymore. And, you know, real friendships have disagreements and you work it out and blah, blah, blah. And Amanda pretty much said that Aaron gave her an ultimatum. So like her or Tara. And Amanda went with Tara. Now, in my opinion, Amanda chose Tara because I think she thought Tara was going to help her more than Aaron. Because sometimes Aaron gets canceled. She's controversial. So I really think Amanda is just doing all this for clout. And she's just using people to get to the top. And for some reason, she thought that Tara was the most beneficial for her. So another thing I wanted to talk about is I've noticed Tara Henderson is starting to kind of like steal Aaron's style. Now, if you don't know both of them, like you might not pick up on this, but Tara Henderson has always been beige, blah, Tara. <laughs> like everything's beige and cream and gray. And now all of a sudden she's wearing like styles and colors that are very similar to Aaron Williams. And it's very interesting that now she's wearing bright colors and floral patterns and like these flowy ruffles. Like she never wore stuff like that before. That style was totally Aaron. I just thought that was interesting because I haven't been keeping up with Tara very much, but when I went to check out her Instagram, I was like, wait a minute, since when does she wear bright colors and like floral and all of this stuff that is typically what I would see Erin in? Also, Erin has more of like, she would always add like a Western kind of flair to her style, if I can describe it in any way. And that's what Tara Henderson has been doing. It's very weird to me. Um, I, I do think Tara Henderson is being shady. Um, I don't like how she is fine, like, deceiving her viewers and being dishonest about things. And I just appreciate Erin Williams' honesty a lot more than Tara's. And I feel like she's being extremely sneaky and shady with this whole thing. So really quick, I wanted to get back to this whole thing where Aaron Williams calls out Tara. Like all of this has happened. The subtle shade has been being thrown. They're kind of like in competition with each other with their boutiques. And now we get to the thing going on with the filters. So like I said, in Texas, they're literally banning any filters that have to do with facial recognition. And Texas is suing because of this metadata. So, like I said, a lot of the moms are kind of bummed if you're in that location that they can't use filters. They, so, everyone on Instagram uses filters, including Tara. Tara is like the filter queen. So, I can see why Aaron got annoyed that Tara was like, oh, I'm so happy they're doing this. Hopefully, everywhere follows suit. And I think her post was hilarious. Like, this is about metadata. And we have fake-ass Tara over here acting like she's so happy the filters are gone. Still have my filters, but love that Texas is taking them away. Hoping the rest of the states follow suit. 
Come on. Like, Aaron Williams knows Tara Henderson better than anybody. And you can tell that she knows Tara's being fake. She knows Tara behind the scenes. Aaron is herself. Like, she will say shit that is problematic, controversial. She's not sorry about it. She even went as far to say that <laughs> Tara was virtue signaling, which I think is hilarious. And that is what she was doing that's what it seems like and she seems to be sick of all the fakeness that's going on in the mommy vlogger community and i'm with aaron like i was just scrolling through tara henner's instagram and it's just just so fake and like i said i'm so about moms making money online i love that moms are supporting their family doing their thing running their business but aaron does that and she doesn't come off as fake as tara does you can run a business and be like an independent woman, power mom, power business woman, and you can still be genuine and at least a little bit relatable and not be fake. And I feel like Tara is just getting faker and faker as the days goes on. So I'm definitely kind of admitting here that I am team Aaron in this situation. Even if you compare Aaron Williams' Instagram, like look at her Mexico picture, look at her Maui picture, like... And then you take a look at Tara's Mexico photos and it's just so fake and it's like this huge production. And I think people are definitely starting to see this from what I have seen. People are loving like the realness of Aaron and people have definitely noticed how fake Tara is. Now, even when Aaron is promoting her boutique and stuff, she just comes off so much more genuine in my opinion. Like I said before, I can barely even watch Tara anymore because of how fake she comes off. And I just feel like there's something really shady about her in the situation. If you follow the mommy vlogger world, please let me down know down below what you think. If you don't follow it, what do you think about these like online friendships that just blow up publicly and... Um, if you guys want me to do more coverage on this story, I totally would. <laughs> I can't help it. I feel like Aaron was done dirty. Now, if more info comes out, I will definitely update my opinion. If you want to know more about this friendship and more of the details, like I can do some digging and definitely trying to find out more details for you guys if you want. So please let me know down below if you guys like this kind of content. I know I cover so many different things because I watch so many different communities. And not all of my subscribers like know what I'm talking about. But I always appreciate you guys commenting and watching my videos no matter what I put out. That is so, you know, I appreciate it so much. I'm so grateful. So let me know what you guys think and I'll see you in my next one.